calendar in Outlook 2007. Calendars where a lot of work gets done, or at least it does for me, especially at work. Here at home, eh, it does, but um, it's not as important as it is at work. At work, it's pretty full. Um, there's some, some cool little tips and tricks that I'm going to show you here that I've learned over the years that using Outlook and and there'll be a series of videos that show a little bit more too but but for real real quick right now when you're switching from mail to calendar um, I don't know what the default is since I change mine all the time change uh, the views but up here you have three views day week month what's cool about these is let's just say you're in week okay here's the current week and right now I do have Sunday and Saturday shown or Saturday and Sunday shown and I'll show you how to do that later but for the most part <clears throat> your week should look similar to this it should should show Monday through Friday let's say you want to also show next week but you don't want the month and this current week only has this week so over here what's pretty cool is you can just drag go to the left of this whole row here drag it down and there you go you got two weeks oh you want another week you said so let's go back up here and go down there's all three weeks oh you want more how about more how about more oh okay now if you really wanted to get no oh, I don't have it set up here on this one but um, what also is cool is if you want to do just a day you click click on the day well, I don't know why. Oh, it's because I'm on week. Click on the day, and let's say you want to to see other days. Hold down Control. Let's do the 9th, 10th, 11th, 17th, 18th, 19th, uh, and those. So there you go. You get a, a broad view of um, any of them that you select. Um, <clears throat> and do, 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 let's see. Let's say, okay, let's just go with some more of the basics. Let's say here, here's today, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, you fathers, including me. <laughs> let's say you want to set an appointment for Tuesday. Actually, let's set it for Saturday. Because Saturday, let's say me and uh, Mr. Cheeto, one of our users in our chat, um, let's say we're going to go do a uh, collaborative chat about a certain topic. Okay, I double click. This is how I normally do it. I'll just double click. Opens up your uh, new event window. Subject, uh, let's say Mr. Cheeto. Um, uh, chat recording. And location. And well, since it's over the internet, who cares really? Um, let's say, actually, let's, let's say, uh, well, here. And then save and close. And then there's your here's your um, event actually I forgot to set a time so by default it's set for all day that's why you notice it's all bold it looks different so let's switch that to let's do it from 8 till 9 in the morning save now there you go um, actually that looks like it's 8 to 5 is the other event I have but anyways now let's say oh you know what let's make it for Sunday you just you can just take it and drag it over to Sunday Oh, I don't want that. Let's make it. Let's make it for. Let's make it for next Monday. So I could drag it. I can double click it, change it here, or let's just go like this. Check this out. Next Monday. There you go. Six twenty-nine. And let's save and close. There it goes. This one's pretty cool. You can you can select or you know next month. That gives you the 721. Um, let's not save that. What else is here? And then uh, let's see in week view. Um, well, I think that's enough for this one. Otherwise, the video gets too long.